Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of Breath of the Wild. We're probably gonna start heading off towards the next area for another Divine Beast. So, why don't we start doing that by heading this way. Probably don't need to talk to a traveler on the road. Let's just keep going this way. Now, it would have probably been a good idea to take a horse with me. Wait, where am I? Am I crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I'm following the right path, I think. Just need to make sure I take the correct turn. This way, I think. Yes. Okay. I wasn't quite... No, I am where I think I was, but it just, it just seems weird. Where I think I were, where, 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 where. Words are hard. I know where I am. I just got a little bit confused for a second. Oh, also there's a fire wizard robe. Which is probably explains why this area around here is all burned down. Let me actually get my a, a bow out, so I'm actually going to be able to do that. Probably. I don't really need to follow the road exactly, so... Let's just get a little bit closer. Also, I don't think I've taken a picture of an actual fire wizard rope since last time I saw a fire wizard rope. Wasn't, it wasn't actually a fire wizard rope. <laughs> so, that was a time. Oh, come on. Oh, I've taken a picture of a fire wizard before. Of course I have. I, I met it on the way to Zora's domain. So anyway, let's get rid of this fire wizard rope then. Oh my goodness, it disappeared. Of course it did. Oh my goodness, get down here. Come on. There we go. Anyway, we haven't had a look at the fire rod though, apparently. Somehow. A magical rod that can cast fireballs crafted by an ancient magician. This rod will break if it strikes something directly, so use it wisely. Well, I don't need it right now, sir. So. But that's interesting. It's basically the the meteor rod, but less powerful. It's just one, not three. But yeah, that's that. So now that we've come to this bridge here, let's actually figure out what I'm going to do. Let's actually maybe even use some of my rods because I don't use them usually, which means using them could be really good. Well, that's that one done. Just gonna pick some of that up, and then look at this. It's a Moblin Club. Haven't seen one of these before, apparently. A crudely fashioned club, favoured by Moblins. It's carved from a sturdy tree, but it, it's sloppy, sloppily made, so it breaks easily. Oh, so I can just leave. No, I can't. This he saw me. Oh well. I'm sure it'll... How did I miss? There we go. Got him. I might also take a look at that uh, rush room, since I need some of that. Okay, last one. And easy. <laughs> it's going to actually be slightly disappointing when my rod breaks. Just slightly. But anyway, we've come to this bridge here, so let's start crossing it. See what happens. It's quite a spot over here, though. We're right next to the Great Plateau over there. So. And as we walk, there's a shrine nearby. The Sheikah sensor would be blaring at us right now if we were actually had it going. But we've already seen it, the, the, the shrine before, so we don't need to worry about that too much. But also, right down here, is another Hinox. It's a blue one, so we've already fought one of these before. But it's certainly got to be challenging, so let's actually change the Meteor Rod. And let's get nice and close. And... Let's fight, I suppose. Just gonna switch to my Thunderstorm Rod. Okay, that's not doing a ton of damage. I just realized. 
Um. Um. What weapon should I use then? This is not good. This is a bad idea. Oh, they are just ten. So, anyway. Oh, hello. This is also called Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. Oh my gosh. Too close, too close, too close. Let's try shooting him in the eye, please. There we go. And if I can get out a strong weapon. Let's get nice and close and... Come on, please. Ow! Oh! 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just gonna eat some skewers of meat. What happens if I get Faro's out? That's not gonna work. Okay. Come and get it. Please hit him a lot. Oh, look at those toenails. Or don't look at those toenails. Probably more recommended. Oh my goodness, bomb arrows would be great around now. But I don't have any. How about we just lure him for the shot and then shoot him in the eye. Nice. Go right in. You can also take his weapons that he's got around his neck. If you really need it. Come on, quick damage and good. Very nice. Now I saw a new type of weapon that he had around his neck, so... Where's his Porgy? Where did that weapon go? Hang on. Oh, did I blow it up or something? It might just be gone. Also, that's not helping me see it. Oh, there. Okay. Well, let's take a picture of this. Moonlight Scimitar. A delicate Groovo Grudo carvings decorate this curved sword. The engraved blade is extremely sharp. Apparently, it once served ceremonial purposes in festivals. Don't have enough space for it, so I might just throw out something. I guess I don't need any travels for Korok Swords thing, so this Moonlight Summit Scimitar looks cool, so. Now, let's go get that Korok. No. Shrine, that one. I know when I've played this game for a matter of time. So let's go get this, and then we'll keep going across the bridge. Although I might have to climb up again. A minor test of strength. Thank goodness it's just a minor one. Also, I should have been wearing my full best armor before, because I wasn't. But that's- it's fine, so. Now let's find out what level Guardian this is, because I don't think we have all of the Guardians taken pictures of, so. This is Guardian Scout 2. I'm pretty sure the regular Guardian Scouts are the ones you find in shrines that aren't challenges like this. Just the regular ones. Also, this guy is super weak. Not gonna lie. Also, if we use uh, elements to get him against him, they will literally just slow him down and then we can just finish off like that. So there we go. Minor tests of strength are now fairly simple. Guardian Spear that we don't need, I guess. But that does remind me of other things right now. There's a lot of things I haven't done yet that I actually still have to do. There's a lot of stuff on my to-do list that I should have been working down slowly. Ancient Core. And there we go, that should be everything in the shrine. Yep. Let's go. Okay, so, now that we have a whole bunch of, um, ancient parts, 
Let's actually head over to the Hatena Ancient Tech Lab. Here we are. Yawn. Did you bring me any ancient materials? I did. So, which room do you want to power up? Remote bomb. Remote bombs, power up time. Yahoo! For what? For that, I'll need three ancient shafts. Let's go. And epic snap. Here I go. Snap! <laughs> hey ho, got it. Okay then, remote bomb upgrade underway. Garnet stone lock removed. Ooh. Now, let's do this thing. Remote Bomb Plus. So now, I'm pretty sure the explosions might be different, maybe? Probably? <laughs> Yahoo! My little guidance stone did the trick, hee <laughs> hee. If you have any other runes you'd like to power up, just let me know. So, let's take out my bombs and just test them out. I can detonate that. It's probably just stronger. But also, probably takes less time to recharge. Oh my goodness, look at it recharge. So fast. That's going to be useful. But anyway. Snap! Did you bring me any ancient materials? Yes, I did. So, which room would you like to power up? Stasis. Stasis power up time. Yahoo! For that, I'll need three ancient cores. Okay. Three ancient cores and a bold snap. Here I go. Snap! Hey ho, got it. Okay then, stasis upgrade underway. Granite stone lock removed. Wow. Now let's do this thing. This is upgrade complete. <laughs> Yahoo! My little guy and did a trick. Hee <laughs> hee. Hmm, what's this? Perhaps you already went up uh, and powered them all up. Well, I suppose with your Sheikah Slate and your legendary swordsmanship, we have nothing to fear. Yes, quite. Nothing at all. Not even Calamity Ganon. Well, there we go. Um, and now, while we're here, we can also talk to, talk to Simon. Good evening. Link, I've got some news that you should... that should be music to your ears. I found a way to help you search for new objects using the Sheikah Sensor Plus. Feel free... Uh, please feel free to show your excitement, anyway. As I was conducting my research, I found that there were still some pictures of the past left on the Guidance Stone. If you add these pic those pictures to your Hyrule Compendium, you can search for all their, their subjects with the Sheikah Sensor Plus. Is it hard? Hard? No, no, not at all. The Sheikah Sensor has been powered up to the Sheikah Sensor Plus. It can now access a picture registered in your Hyrule Compendium, allowing you to uh, search for the subject of the picture. I trust you now see the benefit of adding pictures to your Hyrule Compendium. It makes it much easier to research for the items you need, reducing one more burden you face in your travels. Shall I explain it once more? I'm good. Now then, go ahead and place your Sheikah Slate on the Guidance Stone. I don't normally like to let people use my little Guidance Stone for free, but... I kind of want to see what will happen, so... Just as once, I'll let it pass. Well, you heard her. Could you go and use the Sheikah Slate over there? Sure. Thank you. Let's go ahead and turn on the Guidance Stone. 
Snap! Oh wow, this is... It seems the Hyrule Compendium recovered a picture from the past. It appears to it appears the picture from the Guidance Stone was transferred to the Hyrule Compendium. You can't restore transferred pictures, so be careful of, of overwriting it. You can, you can fill in open slots by taking pictures with the camera or using the Guidance Stone. And it won't be free from now on either. Keeping a lab like this running has expenses, you know. Yes, what she said. So I hope we can now actually do pick, get pictures from um, this place like that. But we can only do it, I think, from enemies and objects and stuff that we've actually seen already, so. Okay, I wanna... How much does it cost? Is it like one picture per... Thing. I'm gonna go five. Oh, five, five. Yeah, wow, 500 rupees. So it's expensive, but it means you don't have to work for it as much. Also, I realized there's one picture that I missed that could be kind of important. You know? So, that one picture that I missed is Water Blight Ganon. You can take a picture of him, and it's a different spot in the compendium, so. I'm not sure what's going to happen about that now. I think I can get it here if I've missed it, sir. But it means I have to spend lots of rupees, sir. Anyway, let's head back over to here. Looks like we're going to head to there. And also, to there. Got to go to the one on the Great Plateau to make it easier for myself. Oh, it's cold up here. Quick, jump off the mountain. Quick, quick, quick link, quick. Anyway, there's the bridge over there. And I could actually have just glided all the way over to the shrine over there, but I'm just going to go somewhat normally. Somewhat. Don't think there's anything else important on the bridge other than the, the fight with the Hinox, so... But anyway, we've got some enemies up ahead as well, so... Let's see how that goes. Ow! Ow! How can you do this to me? Err... Got him. Nice. These poor horses as well. Having to ride... Have these things ride on top of them. Anyway, there we go. I wonder if I can actually tame these horses somewhat well. Also, I think that these over here are wasteland coyotes, so... Also, while we're here, if I get out stasis... Never mind, it's not gonna do it, okay. Well, let's mount this horse and soothe it as much as we can. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Dash. It's okay, it's okay. Back up. I'm gonna get this. On picture. Electric ease, I've already got a picture of electric ease, okay. Ow! Oh, that's right, you have to use the right type of weapon. I don't think I have the right type of weapon. This is not a great... This is not a great... You know what I mean? It's just not a great. Ha, <laughs> Cold, 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 cold. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, I guess. This is what I would recommend. Instead of fighting all the stuff down there, just gliding. Although it's cold up here. No, it's, no, it's not. It's it's fine now. 
But yeah, there's a few things down there you can try to get. I don't know if there's any Koroks. But if there are, I'll have to probably get them later. Since I'm probably going to try and get all of them. Maybe. It's a hard doubt on that one. Just not sure. Also, the way, the tower that we're going to get is way up there. So we're going to have to figure out a way up at some point. Somehow. We're almost there. Please let me land. Safely, thank you. Okay. Let's activate the shrine. And that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.